I suppose you want to know when Sasol Inzalo was created by Sasol. 2008? Hmm, right. Now tell me why. Because Sasol wanted as many South Africans as possible to share in their success. And do you remember what the structure of the company looked like? To be honest, no, I don't. You and me and thousands of others are all shareholders of Sasol Inzalo Public Limited and own Sasol Inzalo Ordinary Shares. To make it simple, we refer to them as Sasol Inzalo. I remember that. I also remember that the issue price of the Sasol Inzalo Ordinary Shares was 366 Rand per share. It's all coming back to me. And at that price, it would have made it almost impossible for the vast majority of South Africans to become shareholders in the Sasol Inzalo. Exactly. So the purchase price of Sasol Inzalo ordinary shares was set at 18 rands 30 for the first 100 shares bought and 36 rands 60 for every share thereafter. But at 366 rands per share, there's a big difference between that and the prices being offered. So how was that difference taken care of? How was it made up? Sasol Inzalo got loans from banks and Sasol. That's right. And this enabled Sasol Inzalo to purchase more than 16 million shares in Sasol. I'd call that a job well done. So would I. Yep.